Hey guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason and today we are starting a new series where I go over retouching this image from start to finish. Um, so what I'm going to do is break this into different videos so that, you know, at the end of the day, we're not having 30, um, 25 minutes videos or even 40 minutes videos. We're just going to have like uh, uh, maybe five to six minutes um, videos and, and that way you can just learn something quickly and then move on to the next video um, whenever you want to. So to start this video off, what I'm going to do is teach you guys how to remove stray hairs in Photoshop and um, also how to just you know blend out the background after removing stray hairs in case there are any patches now this is a very simple technique to do the first thing you're going to do is duplicate your image so that's command J on Mac and Control J on PC and then I would advise that you pick your spot healing brush your spot healing brush is your best friend when it comes to removing stray hairs to be honest so all we're going to do right here is just zoom in and what i'm going to do is just take out this stray hair and that's it just really simple i'm going to take this out too now um don't worry it doesn't have to be like perfect but you know this will do the magic to be very honest like you can see this is really simple all you have to do is just use your spot healing brush and take this out like easy now i don't know for whatever reason i never actually used this tool and um i would always use my clone stamp tool and you know get like a lot of patches and and, and it was weird and one day i just tried out this tool and it just blew my mind the way it works flawlessly when it comes to removing stray hairs and um, you guys can see even in here it's very simple and easy to use i can just take that out i can take this out and take this out just a very simple way to remove stray hair in photoshop okay great so there's one other thing i want to show you when it comes to like a clunk of hair like this right it's not advisable to do this you know um i mean it did a decent job there but for the most part if you guys can see you know there's this thing here and then you can clean that out and everything so what i typically do if i zoom out you guys can see i don't know if you can see very well but there's a kind of like a patch there so what i typically do to um take out patches like this is then use my clone stamp tool so my clone stamp tool what i'm going to do is set my flow to about 14 my opacity to about 100 and i will just gradually paint in these areas now obviously this just works with seamless backdrops and does not work with um what i call it with um textured backdrop so if you have a backdrop that has a lot of texture then this is definitely not going to work so seamless backdrops and i would just do this and um this cleans up pretty nice to be honest um i prefer to do this when there are or when there's like uh, quite a lot of hair uh, and, and when I'm looking at strands but when it's just strands of hair you know what I'm going to do is go back to my spot healing brush and I will just take this out gradually so what I'm going to do right now is just fast forward this video and get these out of the way and once I'm done I'll come and show you how to blend in your background and um, just have everything looking really nice and smooth Okay guys, so now I think I've done a pretty decent cleanup. Um, so let me show you the before and the after. So I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see the before and after. Before and after. Like I said, that's a very easy way to just clean up the stray hairs on your on your subject and have your image looking really nice and clean. Now, if for some reason in the process of doing that, let's say you've made the background look kind of weird, you know, you can see like 
um, blotches you know that I can see some around here and maybe around here too the easiest way to fix that to use frequent separation now, I have a free frequent separation action I'll put a link in the description below just go to my digital store and download it or if you want 14 amazing actions to help you retouch better and retouch faster then check out my retouching essentials pack that's an amazing action pack that I use every time to retouch my images and I also have some skin tone lots that um, would help you get amazing skin tones for both light skin and dark skin tones so definitely check all those out um natural skin tone lots everything is going to be in the description below i'll put a card up here check it out and um thank you check it out and if you get anything from there then you're definitely supporting the channel so i really appreciate it okay great so what i'm going to do right now is run my basic frequency separation action um my gosh i'm just going to leave it at 14 for this and now that i've run that what i'm just going to do is come to my low layer and i'll pick my lasso tool so my lasso tool what i'm going to do is just select an area it doesn't have to be perfect but it should be pretty close to my subject you know just pretty close to my subject um it's not perfect in any way right okay great now if it's touching my subject what i'm going to do is hold option or alternate on pc and just do that so i just take it away i don't want it to touch my subject you know i don't want to select any part of my subject i just want to select background so i'm going to hit command j once i hit command j i'm going to go to filter blur gaussian blur oh my gaussian blur i'm going to increase my blur to about 108 and what this does is that it just blends in any chunky or clunky colors that are there and it makes the whole background seamless and one color all the way right and now that i've done this what i'm going to do is just create a layer mask after creating a layer mask i'm going to pick a brush make sure my flow is at 100 and um, i'll make sure that my foreground color is black and i am just going to increase my brush size and just paint over my subject so the the blur you know like the blur from the background is not spilling on my subject so i'm just going to paint over the edges of my subject and make sure that it is not spilling on my subject i mean it's not going to gain here but I'm just doing that for the sake of doing it um but yeah so basically that is about it that's how you get your stray hairs um right you know and at the same time this is how you get the background looking good after fixing your stray hair so let's just quickly look at it before let's get it before before and after before and after and see our image looks absolutely gorgeous so check out the next video in this series where we're going to be retouching the skin take care guys peace out